Arthur Maley, now 68, and Johnny Taylor, 61, watch the start of their testimonial at the Sydney Cricket Ground, a match that will virtually pick the test team for England. Lindwall to West Australian Rutherford, and he hits him through the covers for two. Not a bit awed by Lindwall's speed and reputation. Prime Minister Menzies and Cricket Association President Sid Smith watch Lindwall send another one down. This time Rutherford puts it away nicely backward of square leg for another two. The newcomer's making a big impression. And so is Queenslander McKay, set for another big score as he hits Lindwall away for two. The pair began slowly, but they're piling on the runs now, absolutely on top of the bowling. Johnny Taylor, a great batsman pre-war, really appreciates this magnificent cover drive that gives McKay his century. So does the crowd, which gives him a tremendous evasion. He looks like a certainty for England. The score, if you're interested, is one for 189. And it's not long before Rutherford pastes power to the fence to bring up his hundred. He's played a magnificent innings and could be the first West Australian member ever of an Australian touring team. After McKay and Rutherford go, Benno delights the crowd. He flicks at it and he's missed. A mistake that's going to prove pretty costly to the fielding side. Young Ian Craig making a comeback, drives past, straight through the field to the fence. It's four all the way. Now led by Sid Smith, Maley and Taylor come onto the field. Stars of yesterday out to prove they're still knowing a thing or two. Well, Maley does anyway. Taylor's clean ball, first ball. Maley should have bowled in tests with his coat on. But back to the testimonial. Powers bowling to Benno, and the New South Wales giant becomes the third century maker of the match. The board shows Craig on 44, but he goes on to pass the half-century before he's out. Lindwall to left-hander Alan Davidson, under the keen scrutiny of Arthur Maley and ex-Governor-General Sir William McCall, who've gone back to the hill where they used to watch the cricket together as kids. Both boys did pretty well for themselves. Bratchford to Ian Johnson, and a full-blooded straight drive that is still going strong as it rattles into the fence. The Australian captain's really having a dip at them. But he doesn't last long before he skies one to Burke. Lindwall's 11 begins badly, but a big stand looms as Davidson bowls to Burke. It goes for four, the start of an innings that doesn't end until Burke's 192. Johnson to Burge, and there's another four. Burge makes 72. Another innings to impress the selectors who'll soon pick the team to fight for the Ashes. It's a test trial and a testimonial, and a great success on both counts.